Hello everyone, it's Jodie from Developing The Self and today I'm going to be talking about my psoriasis. I feel like my skin condition has become sort of theme on this channel, so if you want to watch more videos about my experience with psoriasis, then click on the, the playlist in the corner. But today I'm going to be talking about something that's really requested. A bird just went past. <laughs> and that's my experience with biologic injections and biologic treatments. So today I'm going to be talking about my experience with biologics, how they've helped me, some of the negatives and yeah just my general experience with biologics. I feel like I need to put a quick disclaimer in here that I've just had experience with biologics. I'm not a doctor, I don't have all that knowledge, so if you want the medical advice, just ask your doctor. I'm just here to share with you my experience and if you have any more questions that I don't answer, then make sure to leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. So the first thing about biologics and how they're different from usual medicine for psoriasis is that they're more targeted. They block certain types of cells, which include T cells and also different types of proteins. But that's just a quick overview. I'll put links in the description describing what they are more in detail, but I gathered if you're here in this video, you probably know what they are already. So with my experience with biologics, I've gone on two biologics. The first one was Solara. It's got a funny medical name, so I'll just put that there because I cannot pronounce it. But I was on that for two and a half to three years. And more recently, I've been on Humira, and I've been on Humira for the last year and a half. So I first went on Solara when I was around 17, and I had severe psoriasis since I was around seven. So I'd gone through loads of different types of drugs, and because I'm on the NHS, I was suggested by the dermatologist to go on Solara, and it was amazing. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I felt like I didn't have psoriasis for years it just completely disappeared. And I know in a lot of YouTube comments and online, you're like, oh, a person got rid of their psoriasis, they cured it. There's no such thing as a cure. But for these like two and a half years, it was completely gone. No one knew I had psoriasis. It was completely cured, like not even a bit on my body. So it worked really well for two and a half years and then sadly didn't work as well. And my psoriasis started to come back. And that's a negative with biologics is that they usually don't work for a long, long time. You have to switch between different ones. So yeah, that's just a thing to be mindful of when being on biologics. Another thing is that they are awfully expensive. Luckily I was on the NHS, so I didn't have to pay for it. But if you're living in America or any other country or have private healthcare, then it can be really expensive, especially for some reason, Stellara, I don't know why it's so expensive. I think it was 20,000 at the time per year. So very, very expensive. But the one I'm on now is cheaper and does work quite well. And that is Humira. Because Stellara stopped working, they put me onto another biologic and that was Humira. To begin with, the same thing happened. My psoriasis basically went. I still had a little bit of nail psoriasis, but other than that, it was okay. And I've now been on Humira for one and a half years, I think. For me, Stellara worked a lot better than Humira. There's different reasons why Humira isn't as good. The first reason is that after your first one, biologic doesn't begin to work. And they get less effective over time. So that's the general reason why this doesn't work as well, but it's still generally quite good. But the trigger for my Humira not working was going on the contraceptive pill. I was on Revividon, Revividon. I'm really bad with medical names, but who isn't? Yeah, I was on the combined contraceptive pill and I had loads of different side effects on that. And then when I came off of it, the first day I had psoriasis on my body again, it kind of just caused a trigger for my psoriasis to grow back. So even now I have little spots of psoriasis all over my body, but it's not too bad and it's not sore in any way. So it's a lot better than cyclosporum, methotrexate and a lot of other medicines that I've had. With Solara, I had a problem with the nurse and the delivery system around it because you're supposed to inject Solara every 12 weeks 
weeks, so every three months basically, and my nurse would just not turn up. Um, I was doing A-levels at the time, which are essentially like the SATs for the UK, and I would have days off school and she just wouldn't turn up, so I just wasted a whole day. So I luckily was able to self-inject. The Solara was like a syringe, and I would hold my belly fat, because it's the fattest part of my body, and inject it in, but most people have a nurse do it. It's quite unlikely for people to self-inject Stellara, but Humira is more of like an EpiPen sort of thing, and you tend to want to do it on the firmer part of your body, so I do it in my leg and do it on alternate weeks every two weeks. So you have to inject a bit more, and it's cheaper, so there's like the positives and negatives. There are some negatives to biologics, um, which are they can increase infection when you have like the flu or a cold or a fever, that kind of thing, because they're really quite intense immunosuppressants. So that was the reason why I got vaccinated. It probably is the same in other countries. That's how it was for the UK. I am counted as extremely vulnerable, which I don't feel like, but yeah, I'm counted as extremely vulnerable due to COVID. But yeah, it can make you a bit more susceptible to like the common cold and like flu and coronavirus, for example. But I haven't had any, any other medical side effects, like really at all. It's been really quite good on biologics. Like both of them have been really good for me but it does vary from person to person so just talk to your doctor if you're interested in having biologic so the main things are they're really good but they're pricey as hell and they don't work over time. That's the main summary, I would say. So that's it. I hope you find that helpful in some way. Please like and subscribe for more videos. And again, just comment if you want anything answered. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Developing the Self and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.